Well, let's get on with it, guys. Ape It Man versus Raven King. Not even what well, even winners finals. I apologize. I don't even have that. All right, man. Let's get into it. Game one going on. PS2 the Plastico. Now, um, of course, guys, the names and stuff will be there soon as well. Um, but uh, in fact, we are we are watching a Bitman versus Raven King. Now, these two have always been uh, very, very solid players, and they've been doing extremely well uh, in the course of the time, so I'm glad to see that. I'm excited to see uh, Ike. I know a lot of people still kind of sleep on the character. Uh, it was awesome, to see, even with the like buffs that kind of happened. Uh, some people think he's solid, but still, we don't get to see enough representation, I think, of the character, so but it was good to see. I know Mars uh, when it did it big in the Give Invitational. So it's good to see uh, Ruby King doing his thing here. I mean, I'm online. Good swing there with the fair. Opportunity here for Edge Guard. He's going to sit back and hold on to his Garo. And wow, great recovery there from a bit man. Solid stuff. I love the rising up air. But Ruby King still had Gyro. Gyro is now no longer in play now. Oh, and easy up smash to punish the Aether. Yeah, that's a rough spot to be into, especially for every game. This isn't the first time we've actually seen this before. So it's going to be really seen, interesting Money? to see him come yep. back. Nice! There's the eighth or for the stock, finally. I think that's one thing that like really separates a lot of the eye mains, is actually being able to know when to use that special out of shield. Obviously, it's a really good way to break away from the pulse and quarters combat, but you can also use it as a kill out confirm. You can use it with stuff like that to definitely call out an opponent's approach. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's... Overall, just a very, very solid. Um, yep, easy dare there to close out the stock. Just hit him just a little bit. Enough to get him out in perfect position. Really good stuff there by 8 Man. And you're going to put that gyro up. And that's going to set up some good amount of damage here. Another shot. And this actually could be death. Yeah, that is your life, man. Oh, what life. a freaking sequence. <laughs> that is the life indeed right there. 8 Man is... I, I, I got to talk to 8 Man a little bit while he was on, on his own stream. So this man was coming in with hot hands already. He was already like really interested in how things are going to go down between him and Raven King. I think he might have lost interest with how he just ended that man's life. Yeah, dude, that was a quick and to the point, man. Really good stuff there. Good coverage with the gyro, of course. And I just love his awareness. The, immediately he saw he got um, the sour spot on Dare, but he understood it's like he's still off stage. Yeah. I get a full hop here on this uh I'd be he's good. He, like there's nothing you do. He does an immediate, I hit him. If he waits and tries to drift down, I fall down, I hit him. So just really great presence of mind as always and so it's nice to see, man. Um it been man, I haven't seen him too much. Well, I know he's been at uh, MSMs and stuff like that as well, but um I hope to see him more once we kind of get back into the field of things. He's always been a solid player. Um, always hard worker in the game and stuff, too. Always yeah. loves his dedication, so let's see him do his thing. All right, game two. Well, I like I, that. Fall down I, up air. Up tilt up air. I have yeah, never right. really, really seen that from Rob, but you know what? That's kind of what separates Ape Man from a lot of the other Rob mains. He's, I would almost say, like, he's almost an orthodox in Raven King, making sure that you can try to stop him on the way back to the stage using Aether as he usually does. Yeah. Good shot. Up, oh, set up. I'm not going to get him in time. Thought he was actually going to be up. Didn't realize he was going to get hit to the ground there. Thought he had yeah. to get a grab. Oh, Scary a good place situation. Yep, absolutely. Oh, man. Oh, he goes for it. I'm surprised that we didn't see Raven King go to a Nair Nair. Um, Same. In that situation. I think that that would have been the moneymaker. Potentially could have gone to stock and now in the very close oh. to trouble here. And that's easy. The robotic buddy going at it, man. Good down tilt, though. Immediately looking for a confirm as soon as possible, especially with Rob at the ledge. All right, you can tell yeah. Raven King wastes no time trying to come back. No tech yeah. of the situation. They're double down tilt already to the corner carry. Apeit Man yep, is putting out all the stop. That, Jesus. Yeah. Falling up. Oh, I love time. that. Again, the falling up air to catch. Beautiful tra trap on the air dodge. And, man, a quick 93% there. And that is just a scary thing about this character, man. Good old freaking Robert, dude. 
Up, oh, this should be kill. Yep. Just barely. What does Raven King have for us? Wow, just <laughs> exhaust in your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Not a way you want to go. Okay, gonna have us a good start off here. Are we gonna see any runoff air? No, we won't. That is something I, I do hope to see a bit more from uh, from Ike's as they kind of move forward in that post 8.0 patch. I mean, that fair was buffed in that kind of response, so I, I think there's a little bit more edge, uh, like, offstage game that we can see from Ike in these kind of capacities. Um, like, and then, you know, at the end of the day, though, like, for Ike, right, you, you still want to be careful here. You don't yeah. want to... You don't want to overshoot, but there's certain situations where they can be more, you know, more liberal with their offstage fair usage. Beautiful catch right there, down tilt. Oh Easy no! There, man. The angel platform invincibility allowed him to actually wow. take that hit and then no. come back. Get deleted. That was rough. I'm sorry, man. Ape and man, speed around this one. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I just never heard of uh, losing round one. Why did it say round one? So yeah, weird. I'm like... I thought I was just like, wait, what? Alright, anyways, going into this now. Um, game three. Let's see. Hey, Bitman. What else against Raven King? Because they're back at it. Uh, it seems like Hey, Bitman is still... <laughs> Playing hot, man, regardless. The setup. So, trying to go for reverse down smash. Not going to hit on that regular getup. Seeing a lot more Ikes use quick draw in that kind of scenario. Man, I, I kind of like it in mid range. It's good stuff. Good uh, conversion right there from Raven King, man. Getting uh, Nair, uh, double Nair into Bear this time around. Kind of like what we talked about earlier, but it's going to find itself on the receiving end of the up smash to close out that first stock. Cheese forward air into down smash. That's kind of one of those crazy things about Rob that I tell people. It's just not only is this character really accelerate at playing the projectile in the range game, but when it comes to like close quarters combat, Rob also accelerates at that. So Rob is definitely one of those forces that like if you're really unfamiliar with the rat matchup, this character can run you over. Yeah, no, he definitely excels at that. For sure. Back. Oh, the nerf's gonna hit. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh. oh. Yeah, very, the very fortunate. Land on the gyro, yep. The gyro actually helped Raven King there, but then he got hit right back. Okay, good stuff. Eat there out of shield. Good option. Another one. Easy damage. You know, gets himself some stage control as well, but man. If it, man, every single oh, time the situation. No. Oh, that's it. That's your life. That is your life indeed. Wins. Yeah, that sucked because he definitely was trying to see if he could get underneath that gyro and then just 